Welcome back to exercise number six of problem set number three. This is the last exercise of problem sheet number three. And here we want to identify the three-dimensional representation of OH introduced in the very beginning of our lecture. Uh, we want to identify this three-dimensional representation as one of the irreducible representations given by the character table of OH. So how do we proceed? Of course, you can identify these representations by computing characters, but we want to do it smart. First, we know that this three-dimensional representation must have a character of three when evaluating the identity element. This leaves us with four possibilities for representations, namely T1G, T2G, T1U, and T2U. So, all we want to do is find out which of these four representations transform according to the representation given in the lecture and we do that by computing the characters. First we know that the uh, threefold rotation evaluating the character of the threefold rotation wouldn't yield any useful information for us because the character is the same for all four representations. So we proceed by evaluating the character for the twofold rotation because there is a difference in the characters right here. So we can pick just arbitrary one twofold rotation. Let's pick C2XY. And C2XY is given by the transformation of X, Y, and Z to Y, X, and minus Z. And therefore, the character of C2XY. It can be read out immediately. You have only one diagonal element, namely z bar, and this yields us minus one. So we reduced our possible 3D representations to two. We only have those with uh, uh, three dimensional representations, and we have only those which have a character of minus one in the C2 group. So we have T1G and T1U as possible options. Next, we want to see what, how the identity element transforms according to our representation and deduce whether it is T1G or T1U. We do that in the same way we did it with uh, C2XY. We take the inversion and this is given by inverting simply every element. Therefore the character of the inversion is minus 3 and we can immediately deduce that therefore T1U is the corresponding irreducible representation in the OH group. Okay, this given we want to check that T1U is indeed irreducible and we can do that by taking the orthogonality theorem for characters. This states that the average over all characters must be zero and the average over all characters squared must be 1. We, we can do those calculations, it's very easy. We take 3 times 1 is 3, plus 0 times 8 is 0, plus minus 1 times 6 is minus 1, and we can add those up and we see that in fact this yields an average of 0 and uh, average squared of 1. So T1U is indeed irreducible, and we solve this last exercise of problem set number three. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.